Gear 5 is probably one of the most hyped transformations of all time. Not only when we first saw it happen in the manga, but the Gear 5 reveal in the anime was hyped up for months before the actual episode came out. Now that the fight between Luffy and Kaido is practically over in the anime, one question still lingers on everyone's mind. Did the anime deliver on the hype? I've seen a bunch of complaints floating around on the internet, so let's actually go over every episode and see what people are complaining about. Let's first go over some complaints that don't necessarily have to do with the animation, but with the plot itself. The most common complaint about Gear 5 I hear is that it's basically an ass ball, that it came from nothing. Now, I don't get why this sentiment is so popular, because it is clear that Gear 5 has been foreshadowed long long ago. Look at Luffy using fire-based attacks, look at Zunisha that had been waiting for the return of Joy Boy for centuries, look at Shanks stealing this devil fruit even before episode 1. And yes, I agree that Luffy exhibits some traits of a typical shonen protagonist. He is special, he gains a ridiculous power up, but you have to ask yourself, is that really a bad thing? Thing. Because in contrast to several other manga, I actually think that Luffy's progression over the story so far has been fairly consistent and realistic. Another complaint I hear is that people simply do not like Gear 5. And to be honest, that's understandable if you've been an anime watcher for years. Because most of the time, a character achieving their quote unquote peak is characterized by a serious transformation that's mostly just based on the powers they had beforehand. But Oda himself stated that he did not like this trope. He wanted to do something different, to create a sense of joy in his manga, which I personally think is really fitting since Luffy is Joy Boy after all and is meant to bring smiles to people's faces. The transformation is supposed to be funny. You're supposed to laugh at it. I personally really like this choice. I think it's unique, but it is true that whether you like the transformation or not is mostly subjective. I however don't think it's fair to say that it's not fitting in the story of One Piece because this power fits Luffy to a T and is representative of the theme of Joy Boy. Most of the complaints here have to do with Hiyori and Orochi's sequence, some of the direction choices made and the animation. In terms of the Hiyori scene, I don't think it's fair to blame the staff at Toei for that. That is because episode 1071 basically adapted to chapter 1044 of the manga almost without making any significant changes. And guess what? The episode follows the same structure as the manga. If you're going to blame anyone, blame Oda. And while I do think the scene is a bit misplaced, I still think it fits with the theme of a warrior of liberation being Luffy bringing the dawn to the land of Wano. Now the absolute biggest complaint was that they reused some scenes multiple times in the episode. And for this one, I agree, it is a very strange choice to do this. For the alleged 7 months that the studio had time to work on Gear 5, you would think that they maybe could have figured out the proper pacing for the fight ahead of time. And I get it, they wanted to fit the full chapter of 1044 into the 20 minute time frame, but I think most fans would have preferred a flashback or anime exclusive content over that. And while I don't think it's fair to compare the two, look at the Thousand Year Blood War arc in Bleach. They actively try to improve on the manga by adding anime exclusive content and cutting unnecessary content. And while I appreciate that the One Piece anime is trying to stick as closely to the manga material as possible, sometimes that can be to its detriment like what happened here. And then you had people saying that they didn't like the animation, and I guess this is simply a matter of personal preference. Some fans said that the animation was too fast paced, to the point that you couldn't really see what was going on, but honestly, I like it. I like that the scenes were a bit chaotic, it added to the ridiculousness of Luffy's powers. But despite the complaints, I mean come on, the episode was still a banger. The anime showcased the mix of goofiness and power of Gear 5 very well, and despite its flaws does its job properly. Episode 1072 is when we saw Gear 5 on its full display and frankly, I felt that it came with the least amount of complaints. The animation was, as many pointed out, much more smooth and you could actually tell what was going on. There were pretty much no other scenes aside from Gear 5 as well. And especially the second half, where the animation changed up slightly and got a slightly smoother feel to it, yeah, I think the majority of the fanbase agrees that this episode was a step up from the last one. Aside from the plot, the main complaints were about the animation, as some say that the different styles of the different artists that work on the episode resulted in the animation looking too disjointed. While again it is true that the animation is mostly a subjective topic, I mean you gotta be blind if you think this is bad animation, I mean look at this. 
I'm not going to spend too much time on this episode, since the episode mostly focused on saving the Burning Castle instead of Gear 5. It was clear that Toei planned on saving money and effort while animating this episode, because in the instance that Luffy did appear on screen and even grabbed lightning for the first time, the animation was pretty weak in my opinion. But luckily they improved on pretty much every aspect in episode 1074. This right here was probably the peak of, well, everything. The animation, fluid, sharp and stunning. The direction, impactful, consistent and chilling. The soundtrack, fitting and beautiful. This tops Zoro vs King. The anime did an amazing job depicting the sheer scale of Luffy's Bajoran gun and combining that with this time very appropriate flashbacks. It makes for a very fitting conclusion to the Luffy vs Kaido fight. Now, 1075 and 1076, while dragged out a bit, are both amazing episodes. I think that the flashbacks that so many complain about in 1075 are necessary. The flashbacks were new, and they were needed as we the viewers are supposed to feel satisfied that Orochi and Kaido are finally both being taken down. And in 1076, I really like that the focus was on Kaido's past. Because while he clearly was a tyrant that needed to be taken down, it's clear that he has his own trouble-filled past. And now we get to the golden question. Was the hype worth it? I personally think that it depends on your perspective. First up, if you are a manga reader like me, I think that you would be more hyped for the anime because you expect the level of quality to be that of the manga plus more. Therefore, your expectations are much higher and you are probably more likely to notice small flaws, whether it's in the animation, direction, it doesn't matter. But if you're an anime only watcher and you enjoy Gear 5 itself, I think it's much easier to be satisfied with these episodes. Moreover, the animation, which I would argue would make or break Gear 5 in the anime, is really a subjective topic. You might like the chaotic, fast-paced animation, or you might not. But to me, even though I am a manga reader and my expectations were high, the episodes did live up to their hype. Yes, I have my small complaints here and there, but I won't let these complaints get in the way of my overall enjoyable experience. I think that Toei animated the scenes very well that were most important, and I praise the staff for doing that. I hope that as the anime progresses, the level of quality stays the same, because as a manga reader, I am really enjoying the arc we are in right now. Eventually, I might even switch to the anime. Let me know in the comments what you think of Gear 5 in the anime. Did it live up to your expectations, or were you disappointed? Thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.